Hi, my name is Heather Smith and I'm going to uh, walk you through how to set up Xero for your firm. Now, um, first of all, the first thing you do, need to do is come to www.xero.com. But I'm just going to jump back a little bit and talk to you about your browser. One of the things, if you're not familiar with using um, cloud solutions or you've not been using cloud solutions regularly, there are a few things that would benefit you. So one of the things is jumping here and going to this website here and activating your JavaScript. So mine actually is activated, but you'd follow through the instructions here um, on how to activate your JavaScript. The other thing that is useful to do is to um, get adobe.com flash player. So go through, go to this site and get the Adobe uh, flash player. It's recommended by Zero that you do that. I do recommend if you come to this site, you might want to untick these two options. You might not like to, they're trying to get you to um, install some security software. So I would uh, make your decision separately on that. But just go through um, the process of installing Adobe. Xero um, also links with Skype, so you may also want to consider um, using Skype and setting that up. And I also want to highlight to you, I'm just going to scoot these down here. I also want to highlight to you, if you come over here to these uh, three ellipses, three vertical ellipses and click on them, and then come and click on settings, and scroll down. Uh, and click on advanced and scroll down further. One of the things that you're frequently told to do when you're using Xero is to clear um, browsing data, history, cookies, cache and more. So you go through, click on that um, and go through the options of clearing all of that data. I'm not going to do it now because it's kind of, it's a bit of a pain, but uh, that's one of the things, if you have any issues with Xero as you're using it, they always encourage you to go and uh, clear your cookies and your um, other data that's a, a part of your history. The other thing I want to highlight to you is if we come back here and click on these three ellipses, I'm using Google Chrome. You can tell I'm using Chrome. It says up here in the top left corner. If I click on these three ellipses um, and pop down here to help, um, now you might not see that. I'm just going to pull this aside so you can see that. Help. And then it says about Google Chrome, and here it actually updates. Now, for some reason, it doesn't automatically update. So maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I do want you to make sure if you are using Google Chrome, um, you go through and update it to the latest version. So zero, um, and probably your other online accounting solutions work with the most recent version of Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Google Chrome, um, and uh, Opera Mini if you're using it on a um, mobile device. Now the other thing um, I'll also mention that might be useful is if you're using a Firefox browser, turn off Firebug because it can slow down your access. So I'll pop that back over there. And so that was just essentially um, getting you ready um, for using Xero, uh, getting your browser ready for using Xero. So here I am back on the Xero page at www.xero.com. And for me, I'm sitting in Australia, so mine says forward slash AU. But if you're sitting in another country, you may have another option. And I'll highlight, I'm just going to go across here and to the drop down scroll. And down here, you could have selected the different regions, okay? Um, that's up to you. I will uh, go through and do an Australian one. Um, you can see here on the front it has a, uh, uh, a bonus offer at the moment, but that's okay. I'm going to go um, and click on the free trial button, the green free trial button. And it comes up um, to the sign up window and I'm going to come here and fill in my uh, contact details, um, which it will require before uh, proceeding. I have blurred out my contact details, but you would know what you uh, need to put in there. You'll tick the option, I'm not a robot, and <laughs> if you're not a robot, um, and you can come here and you can read the terms of use, the privacy notice, um, and the uh, various offer uh, details for that offer on the front there. Um, so I'll tick that. 
and I uh, can click get started. Now if you were an accountant or bookkeeper looking to partner with Xero you would come down to these two options here um, but for this purpose of this exercise we are going to click get started and it's advising me that an email is on the way so I will pop over to uh, my inbox and see if I have an email there.